Hey, how's it going guys and gals? Welcome back. I'm a little tiny on this one, but uh, we're, we're trying to give a little bit more space to our grand story here of uh, trying to become human. I'm really excited about getting to finally play this. Um, yeah, it's going to be good. Have a good time. So I, start, I just started, basically did like the basic gamma and screen checks and all that stuff. So we're going to go uh, jump right into the story. I'm pretty excited though. Like, I love the, the choice games. I've heard some odd, you know, back and forth, like some people like this, some people didn't, so I'm kind of curious to see how this goes, but let's find out. August 15, 2038. Damn, guy's got mad skills. Okay, so I gotta go up on the... Offer instability. Please, please, you gotta save my little girl. Wait, you're sending an android? All right, ma'am. You, you need to go. You can't do that. You. Why aren't you sending a real person? Talk to Captain Allen first. Alright. Captain Allen. I am here. I am here. I am your robot overlord. Captain Allen. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's firing at everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. We can easily get it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. If it falls, she falls. Do you know its name? I haven't got a clue. Does it matter? I need information to determine the best approach. Do you know if it's been behaving strangely before this? Listen, saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it. I need to know what has happened. I need to know what has happened.
But basically, I need to go around and start finding some more, more information on what's happening. Alright. We don't have a time limit, or at least so it seems. So let's see what they get here. Devious name, Daniel. Okay, so we've found out more information on Daniel here. Daniel of the Android. Kyle didn't hear gunshots, okay. That's cool. So it tells you what, like, what you've completed. Nothing in there. See if we can bring this up a little bit more. I kind of want to do a little bit better than 60%. I'm not sure if I can, though. That's the thing. All units will about to have dinner so we're learning more.
You can find out kind of a little bit more information here. I don't, I don't think there's much more here. Something here, apparently. Members are certainly forbidden to carry or use any type of weapon put back because we don't want to. We do not want to be in that bad, uh, bad biscuit there. I want to get. Oh shit! Oh. God damn it! Do a little bit more research and let's go out and save the kid. This is dad. So what is he looking for? So I'm guessing like the more we find, the more uh registered. Cyber It was going to be replaced. Oh shit. So we're up to a good chunk of data here, so let's I don't know how much more we can find. What the hell, dude? What the fuck are you doing? You gotta talk to it, boy. Yeah, it's I'm gonna talk to it, homie. Fuck. All right, I guess I gotta go. So 70 some odds percent is about the best I'm gonna do. Stay back! Don't come any closer or I'll jump! No, no, please, I'm begging you! Go, go, go! Hi, Daniel! Uh, my name is Connor. How do you know my name? I know a lot of things about you. I've come to get you out of this.
can't understand how I'm feeling. I know you and Emma were very close. You think she betrayed you, but she's done nothing wrong. She lied to me. I thought she loved me. But I was wrong. She's just like all the other humans. They were going to replace you, and you became upset. That's what happened, right? I thought I was part of the family. I thought I mattered. But I was just their toy. Something to throw away when you're done with it. Listen, I know it's not your fault. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software. No, it's not my fault. I never wanted this. I loved them, you know? But I was nothing to them. Just a slave to be ordered around. I can't stand that noise anymore! <laughs> Tell that helicopter to get out of here! Everything will be fine. I want everyone to leave! And I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. That's impossible, Daniel. Let the girl go, and I promise you won't be hurt. I don't want to die. You're not going to die. Just going to talk. Nothing will happen to you. You have my word. Okay. I trust you. Oh, guys, come on. to me, Connor. You lied to me. Come on, man. That's fucked up. are taking yet to explore and what possibilities you've unlocked. Each node earns you points that you can spend in extras due to the nature of the game. Some nodes and endings will not be counter counted towards the completion of the flowchart. Okay. Oh, I had gotten just about everything except for one. One thing I missed there. So SWAT injured, wasted too much. Oh, wasted too much. Oh, there's four ways that could have gone. Woo. Jesus.
This is the top of the range household assistant. It cooks 10,000 different dishes. Come on, Zoe, let's go. And, diamonds, and handles the kids' homework at elementary school. Good afternoon. Can I help? Wow. This is exactly what we need. How much did you say it cost? At the moment, we're doing a special promotion on And it comes with a two-year warranty for parts and labor. At night, it switches to surveillance mode. Contacts emergency services if there's a break-in or if it detects smoke. Excuse me, how much is that one over there? The MP800 is slightly more expensive, but it has many other functions. Come along and I'll show you. I don't like this guy. There it is. It's a bit difficult getting it back in working order. Okay. It was really messed up. What'd you say happened to it again? <clears throat> the car hit it. Stupid accident. Ah, oh, I see. Anyway, it's as good as new now, except that we had to reset it, meaning we had to wipe its memory. I hope you don't mind. It'll be fine. Okay. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. AX400, register your name. Kara. My name is Kara. AX400, register your name. Kara. My name is Kara. Beautiful game, though. do a really good job with like the uh, the scenery and stuff like that from Quantic Dream. Visuals look great. Yes, I think that's enough for one day. Here, L let me help you. Oh, oh thank you, dear. Can we read Discover articles and extra sessions? Secrets of Andrews. Well, you get a, so there's a bunch of different stuff. Face is part of the expression. We soon realized there was something disturbing about them that made people feel uncomfortable. Cyber life worked in a way to humanize his machines so they could enter our homes and become new members of our family. We created Andrew to both genders, all ethnicities, analyzed thousands of voices to find the most pleasing tones. Realistic blinking was perfected, though totally unnecessary, along with breathing, facial hair, and many other humanizing traits. Uh, designing Andrews are easy, except by humans was a ch huge challenge. Cyberlife had overcome Jason Graff. 
director of the Humanization Department of CyberLife unveiled some of his design secrets to our recent first androids were perf perfect. They had perfect faces, perfect expression. We soon realized that there was something disturbing about them that made people feel uncomfortable. We worked on ways to humanize its machine so they could enter our homes and become new members of our family. They created androids both genders. Uh, uh, okay, that's, that's. I read all that. I don't want to read all climate change and stuff. Can't interact with everything apparently. Okay, let's go. Keep going. Hey, water. You have run twelve miles and are five miles away from your goal. Go exploring a little bit and see what we can find over here. Andrew, run our company. Wait for green. Wait for green. I also like wanna make Android like comments on this and you know, mess around with it. Technology is our god now. It was supposed to serve man, but it is becoming our new master. Why do you look at me so, demon? I know who you are. I can see through you. You are the one by whom the evil will come. You are the one who will destroy Detroit. Rude. Androids are evil. Man seeks to imitate God by creating life. But what kind of life is this? A life of plastic and metal? Interesting little like commands for that there. Identification verified. Here is your order number eight four seven. That will be sixty three ninety nine. Please confirm payment. Payment confirmed. Transaction complete. That's like not the creepiest transaction you've ever had. I mean, right?
and drones and all kinds of crazy stuff around here. Imagine like windows getting all crazy like that though, like LCD windows. I mean, they're already starting to do that with vehicles and stuff. Android temporary parking? What the hell? Cyber life. Cyber life. Hello. Cyber life. Hey, whoa, buddy. Pushing me. Android specific area? What the fuck? For them, like, being the new overlords, they sure, like, compartmentalize them a lot. Interesting, so that's like its own. God, these games always get me though, they're like super replayable by just, yeah. Hey, if you guys are hanging out in chat, feel free to say what's up, say hi, don't be shy. Love less, how you doing? Welcome. If you guys haven't checked out Love Less games, definitely do so. Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Had a little bit of a rough morning finding out some interesting news, but um, yeah, I talked. I, I think I talked about it in one of the discords today. How's everything been? How's uh, the state of decay? You coming? You've been gone for two weeks, so the place is a mess. You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals, and you take care of. God damn it, where the fuck's it? Okay, it's fine with friends, I'm curious to see what they want. Alice! Alice! Oh, there you are. That's Alice. You look after her. Homework, bath, all that crap. Got it? Yes, Todd. Get started down here, then you do upstairs. Something happened, it happened what? Now you gotta actually do the housework? Shit. Oh yeah, I I, I found out some interesting bad news over the weekend and last night, so it's just kinda of rough. Yeah. Maybe. Depends on what you need. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they said they're gonna, you know, it's a role playing game, but I didn't have to think you'd have to go and pick up the trash. Yeah, yeah. I'll bring it tomorrow. Yeah, same place. You know. Put it myself, but I'm here if you want to chat. Oh, no worries, no worries. You know, it'd be better to talk about it offline, for sure.
take out trash. All of the things. So far, I'm liking it. I'm only, like, the first 40 minutes in, 30 minutes in. start down here. I'll head upstairs. Do what you have to do, but stop bothering me. Rude. Yeah, yeah so I've only I've only basically Out saved. Of the way for fuck's sake. I'm sorry, Todd. It won't happen again. I'm sorry, Todd. It will not happen again. Oh wait, shit. I didn't Oh my damn. Yeah, all the androids seem to be I mean all the people seem to be Pretty dickish to, uh... Okay, I want to go back because I messed up right there. I just realized I didn't, like I said, oh, I'm done. But I needed to, like, clean the dishes and stuff, which really doesn't count as being done. It's just going to start counting me as being, like, a <laughs> shitty robot. This game is gorgeous, though. Like, absolutely gorgeous. I kind of wish I had this on a PS4 Pro. Boost it up a little bit. But between that and the capture card to go with it, ugh, it'd be a little pricey. Uh, no, it's on PS4. It's a PS4 exclusive. Thank you so much for the host. I saw it in the chat, but I'm not seeing it in my alert. Why the alerts aren't showing up? I have so I have to use um I have to use XSplit for consoles. Oh, hold on one second, let me fix this. Uh Well, one second, guys. I will be right back here in two seconds. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, no, I was trying to see. Let's see if this. There we go. Now we have. Yeah, it works. Okay. No, like yeah, the on-screen alert didn't come up at all, so I was like. Out of the way, for fuck's sake! I'm sorry, Todd. It won't happen again. No. Ah, damn it. I messed up. Okay, so it won't let me replay that part. Wait, 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 wait. What's this? I could read their magazines. All sports.
Tech Addict. Hell yeah, my kind of my kind of magazine. Life and death decisions. For example, deciding which of the two pedestrians to hit. But the exact process of which cars make these decisions is not very well understood. <laughs> what? <laughs> when a driverless car or driverless vehicle foresees an accident, the car's computer makes life and death decisions. For example, deciding which of the two pedestrians to hit. <laughs> what the fuck? Martin Forlong the, of Crown Cars tries to clarify, in these situations, the car's imaging system gathers data to determine the pedestrian's age, gender, life expectancy, and the blink of an eye. What? What? <laughs> this data is parsed through the public record to determine marital status, employment record, life expectancy, and whether they have children. The car then assigns a value to each possible victim based on criteria of their contributions to society. We put a premium on lives that will save others' lives, like doctors and nurses. All this may sound very reasonable, but Felix Gamble, head of Anti-Automation League, AAL, says the system has no right to make judgments. Somebody with a criminal record is not necessarily less valuable in society than a doctor. That kind of information is relevant to the sanctity of human life. Before long, dismisses such claims, we want our cars to make the best possible choices, and that means acting on the basis of all information they can gather. The more, the better. Fucking wow. Like, I'm... 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 Legitimately surprised on this. Like, that's just... That's pretty fucked up. Like, I gotta give it to these, ga these guys with these games, man. Like, they do some crazy stuff with this. Has a gun. Ventilate though. Oh, L2. Duh. Watch it. So fucking rude, dude. Come on, man. At least they didn't to make you go through that whole thing. They got a surprising clean toilet for a shithole, right? I just mop the floor. Yes. That's interesting. 
right? Like, they have androids, fucking androids, but they can't get the, the basic stuff done. I just want to tidy up your room a little. I only need two minutes. Is that okay, Alice? I'm just saying, I want to, I want to live my laziest life, and they are playing. I'm sure we used to be friends before I was reset. Maybe we can be friends again. Your father said you chose my name. Kara, it's nice. How did you choose it? You should tell me about yourself. What you like to do, where you like to go, your favorite foods. That would really help me. What about your mother? Will she be home soon? Oh. Well, interesting. Got the key to whatever that is. It's the key to her heart. I want to explore all of the things. Must be mom. It's the whole family. Yeah, it's the key to the car. So that song, I don't remember the, I think the name of the song is actually key to her, but yeah. What? What? Looks like mom got hit in the head. Oh God. This is one of the few games they did makeup right by the way, yeah. Uh oh, she's kinda scared now. She's like Homie. Like, it looks like homeboy like ripped his robot apart. Yeah, a car got murdered. She got hit by a truck. Bitch, no she didn't. Apparently the kids like drawing pictures of this. Like what? Ease, man. That is, mm. <laughs> Truck named Todd, yeah. <laughs> that truck was, uh, pretty big, and it was, uh, it was me. Yeah. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 what's this? What is this? Rooms. I got the bathroom, I believe. And now to sports. First up, basketball. I can watch cartoons. That room is not clean, by the way. I know, right? That's all they're letting me do, though. Another 225,000 jobs were lost from the U.S. economy in October. 
According to the Department of Labor, bringing the unemployment figure up to 37.3%. What? President Warren spoke today at the opening of a new... I'm starting to see why Carr got beat up, right? At the event, the president again praised Cyber Life's role in the exceptional performance of the U.S. economy. She further announced that the Department of Defense will acquire 200,000 Android combat units as part of her increased military spending. Like I've had enough of that shit. Anything else I can I can clean here? No? Okay, cool. <laughs> it's funny because I barely clean anything downstairs. What are you doing? I'm playing. You're playing? I know what you're thinking. You think your dad's a low life. Huh? She's playing like a little Loser. kid, dude. Can't get a job, take care of his family. Don't you think I tried to make things work? But whatever I do, when someone comes along, they just fuck it all up! I know what you think of me. What? You hate me. You hate me, don't you? Do I hate you if you keep doing shit like Say that? It. You hate me! God. Jesus, dude. What am I doing? What the, exactly? The, I want to know what the fuck you're doing. I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know I love you, don't you? You know I love you. Right? Clean first floor? I like totally. Like, I did a whole lot on the first floor. Oh, hold up. Can I. Can I look at this? <laughs> I disturbed Todd. I didn't do shit on the first floor. <laughs> oh my god, dude. That's funny. <laughs> I did fuck all on the first floor. But that second floor is fucking spotless. Oh my god. So good. So good. Please, get the fuck out. <laughs> Worst robot, right? Nah, she's more worried about the upstairs, fam. Automated home networks, too? I mean, we're pretty close to that now, so... Hello, little Bertie. Squish. Oh. It's animatronic birds. Deposit packaging at one funky looking painting. Deposit package where? Where one? Carl upstairs. It's a very colorful house, I'll give you that. Can I ride that? That'd be awesome. Right? Carl, get the fuck up. 
Get the fuck up. I'd be like the worst android too. You put a personality like mine in here. Huh. Carl, wake the fuck Good up. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees. 80% humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. Is playing game I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. Administer Carl's medicine. Here, old man, take your medicine. I know, for such a big house, he's got a tiny ass little bed. Give me your arm, please, Carl. No. Carl. Thank you. Hmm. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Humans are such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Okay. I'll take you to the bathroom now. Oh. All I imagine him doing is just like picking him up by the shirt and just dragging him in. I wonder if there was an option to drop Carl. Anything special on the agenda? Mm. Oh, wait, yes, sorry. Whoops. The opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. Mm. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Hmm. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. <laughs> okay. What else? Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Hmm. What is with the controls on this Maybe thing? Real? Oh my god, this is horrible. No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No, I don't bother. Now, with a house like this, the money he spends, how does he not have, like, an Xavier chair? I mean, that's my real question at this point. Why doesn't he have, like, these little basic things? Paint? No. I think Love's going in, like, way different directions. Got automated Stop. doors and all this other stuff. Well, like your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. around the world here is your goddamn breakfast 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 brick 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 breakfast Thank you, Marcus. Television. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? I'm sure. Hmm? Okay, Carl.
find something to do. Plato's Republic. It's one of the books you recommended. So, what do you think? I quite like no philosophy, worries. I think. It asks the questions that I can't answer. You know, what is right or what is wrong, for example. It's not something that is so easy to decide. Asking questions that have no answers is part of being human, Marcus. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself. And make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. But maybe I want to finish reading my goddamn book. Let's see where we left off. Remove the sheet. So, what's your verdict, Marcus? Yes, there is something about it. Hmm. Something I can't quite define. I guess I like it. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Give it a try. Try painting something. Paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. <sighs> All right, sure.
That is a perfect copy of reality. The painting is not about replicating the world. It's about interpreting, improving on it, showing something you see. Carl, I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go, try it. Grab that canvas. Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Trust me. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas. Hey, Dad. Leo. I didn't hear you come in. Oh, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? You all right? You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen. Uh, Junkie. I need some cash, Dad. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? Uh, well... It just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear, it's not that. No, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash. That's all. I'm sorry. The answer's no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd, rather, you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, eh? Okay? Tell me, Dad, what's, what's he got that I don't? It's smarter, more obedient, not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine! Leo, that's enough. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You never loved me. Oh, jeez. He had, like, a red response and has a little blinking light, too. That was rude, dude. Just super rude. Interesting how it has like weird little parts. But that's always been Quantic Dream's thing. They did the same thing in Heavy Rain. Welcome back, welcome back. No androids allowed. Androids walking in the door. Those arms repaired. Shit. 
Is he? I am play Crit Mall Record DUI. Mystic abuse, huh? Jeez. How can all these unemployed people afford it, right? Like, I, like half these people we've looked at are all like unemployed. Oh, it's that guy. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I must insist. My instructions stipulate that I have to accompany you. You know where you can stick your instructions? Plastic asshole. I know they say a lot of plastic stuff. Where? Never mind. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I, I am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? Bartender? The same again, please. See that gym wonders of technology. I get a double. Well, did you say homicide? Well, yes, I did. Uh oh. You wait here. I was <laughs> like, his car dead again. My instructions are to accompany you to the crime scene, Lieutenant. Listen, I don't give a fuck about your instructions. I told you to wait here, so you shut the fuck up and you wait here. <laughs> Follow Lieutenant Anderson. Josh Douglas from Channel 16, can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. Typical DPD. Don't tell us. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. What part of stay in the car didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Evening, Hank. We were starting to think you weren't gonna show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. We had a caller on the from the landlord. The tenant hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by, see what was going on. That's when he found the body. Jesus, that smell! even worse before we open the windows. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Wow, well, stayed easy. 
Wasn't worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. Red ice, acetone lithium. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break in? No. Oh, she's crawling. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. I'll be outside if you need me. Sex officially. What the hell? Oh, Jesus. Get a burger in that closet, right? The android spying on you? Say so. We're taking samples for analysis. Red ice. Seems our friend Carlos liked the party. Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. Consider it done, Lieutenant. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. Hey Mike, you finished taking samples there? Yeah, that's it. Missing two clues, I'm kind of bugged on what it is. Thank you. 
gonna find all the clues. Door was locked from the inside. Killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. The tracks could have faded. No. This type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. I have found all available traces of things. MCSI, move. Lieutenant. I think I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started... in the kitchen. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android With the bat. That lines up with the evidence. Go on. The android threw the chair. No, that can't be right. It doesn't fit the evidence. Android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to the living room. to get away from the android. All right, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim with the knife. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous. But it doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers Android's biocomponents. Yeah, this is really it interesting. I like it. After a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh, but I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct.
definitely started here. Went down this way. Came back over here. A ladder was used. Scan that. If I get a PS4 and we get this, yeah, this, like, uh, Beyond Two Souls, Until Dawn, Heavy Rain, they're all fantastic games. Hey, 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 what are you doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. Uh, I'm going to check something. is clearly up here. Weird people, man. Weird people. That's the only thing I can imagine. Hello, sir. Hello. He's fucked. He's super fucked. So I got most of the stuff in here, except I'm missing three things, apparently. So I guess the other one leads to not finding him, but how do you not find him in that case, you know? Like, what? That's what I tell you, I'm missing, you missing bit is frustrating. Dinner is ready. Yeah, I don't like that part so far. I think that's the only part that I'm not a big fan of. Serve food. Serve food.
There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. Life's funny. I lost my job because of androids. They might need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. What do I do? I go out and hire a fucking android. What a joke. Of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. Fail, they never tired, they were sad. They're so fucking perfect, they ruined my fucking life. What are you looking at? What's your fucking problem? But he's so mean to his so mean to his Not daughter. You dreamed of, eh? Like Broski. Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account. It's all your fault. Daddy, no. It's all your fucking fault. Damn, come on, dude. Really? What the fuck? Why do you keep Not taking you. it out on your kid? Don't take it out on the robot if you're gonna take it on anybody. Right now. Fuck, what she wanna come back for? Yes. You stay there. Don't you dare fucking move, or I'll bust you worse than last time. Yeah, rip dinner, like. Oh, I felt. I did everything I could to make her happy. It just, it just wasn't enough. I see how the money you get a tour of TV, though. Far. Gonna break the TV next watch. Little fucking brat. Dude blames his kid for all this stuff and like it's nothing but his fault. Like fucking being it's a dick like that, fault. dude. Fuck man. Tell me, yeah, he's having drugs for dinner. You're like, fuck, man. Good lesson? The fuck kind of lesson? Yeah, and he's gonna beat beat her ass. I'm like, nah, fuck that, fuck that, homie. I'm not. I can't do this even in a video game.
Why do here that's an order you hear me no I want you to leave Alice alone you want what do you mean you want you don't want anything you're just a goddamn piece of plastic I think you got a problem we need to fix that <laughs> Get the belt and whoop his ass. Jesus, man. This is annoying. What the hell? Oh my god, look at that, dude. There's so many things. Todd gets in head. Break programming. Car becomes deviant. Go upstairs. Oh my god, yeah, I don't like this. Like this, So I think this is the feature that everybody was pissed off about. Plus, it, like, it stops you every time you go to the new story, so it also gives you that, you know, like, yeah, that whole sense of stuff. Like, that was a lot of stuff right there. That was a lot. I'm just like, that what the hell? That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. All the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. Scotch, neat as usual? Absolutely. 
Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Marcus, no, I'm gonna come with you. It is perfectly fine, Carl. Leo, look who's here. My father's plastic toy. And they really go off Leo. this plastic thing. What's going on? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Be reasonable. This isn't gonna get you anywhere. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect like this fucking thing? That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes what? it so special Ooh. anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't Leave him alone! Come on! Let's see what you got! Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one. Ugh, stop it. What's the matter, too much of a pussy? Stop mm. it, Leo. Stop Just it. Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch. Ugh. So, all right, guys and gals, you gotta help me with this one. I think I need a little help. Should I break through? Should I become human? Should I make my decisions on my own? I wouldn't break through. Don't don't do it. I'm worried that the the guy's gonna like die though. So. Yeah, I mean, he's gonna die either way, true. Oh, I have to, apparently. It's not giving me any other choice now. I know, I'm like, I don't have a choice, I don't think, anymore, which is unfortunate. Person, you're just a fucking piece of plastic. No, Leo, leave him alone. No. I'm gonna destroy you. Then I'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you apart. No. Nobody's gonna give a shit anymore because you're nothing. You hear me? You're nothing. I'm going to endure. Please don't go. Don't leave. Remember, Marcus. Don't let anybody tell you who you are. No. No. Dad. No. Please. This is all your fault. This never would have happened if it weren't for you. The android. Who's the android? 
What? This kid sure is gonna get me fucking killed. All right, one second, guys, and go. Hold on, I'll be right back here in just like two seconds. Okay, sorry about that, folks. Why'd you kill him? What happened before you took that knife? How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? Say something, goddammit! <laughs> Fuck it, I'm out of here. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. I was trying to close my brother's door because he was getting pretty loud with his game and his friends. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You can always try roughing it up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it. And that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> what do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. I detect an instability in your program. It can trigger an unpleasant feeling, like fear in humans. Your 
damaged. Did your owner do that? Did he beat you? I'm not going to hurt you. I just need to ask you some questions so we can understand what happened. Listen, I'm on your side. I want to help you, but there's nothing I can do if you won't talk to me. I'm here to help you, but you've got to trust me. All I want is to get you out of here. What? What are they gonna do to me? They're gonna destroy me, aren't they? No. I think they just want to understand. They know your master abused you. It wasn't your fault. Why did you tell him you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? They were going to find you anyway. I was just faster. If they'd have found you first, you would have been shot on sight. understand how you felt. You were overcome by anger and frustration. No one can blame you for what happened. I know you're scared and lost. I'm just gonna like, kind of sweet talk on him as much as I can. I promise I won't let anyone hurt you. Oh, I have to go raise his stress, not bring it down. You leave me no choice. its memory. I know what happened. I can't go back and talk to him anymore. So I had to stress him out more. It's destroying itself. Stop it, goddammit! I, I, I can't! I, I can't stop it! That's enough! You need to stop that right now! Just gone. I can't. Oh my god, dude.
And there's not even, like, a way to replay that. Ah, fuck, man. <laughs> Jeez. That sucks. I thought by, like, I had to, like, keep comforting him. I didn't know I had to piss him off. I mean, it said too low, but I wasn't sure if it, like, it had to be low enough or high enough. Like, it didn't really say raise the, you know, raise the stress level. Thank you for using Detroit Assist. <sighs> All right. End of the line. End of the line? Yeah, you're gonna have to leave. Well, that's unfortunate. He pit like Connor basically pissed him off too much. He's like, I had to probe him. Do you know if there's any other place we could spend the night? I have no idea. She's gonna have to leave. That wasn't the end of the line, it just dumped them off there. That sucks. You're gonna be okay? We'll find somewhere to spend the night. Go home and knock your punk ass daddy out. Jeez, man. Come on, Alice, we've gotta hurry. See the motel over here, but where the fuck are you going? Come on, this way. This way. This way. Oh my god, you little brat. Come here. Alice, you're freezing cold. I'm okay. I'm not so cold. Romeo Schools, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. place for tonight. Come on, Alice. There's a motel right there. No, no, not really, but... we'd be out of the rain. Kara, I don't like this place. I know. The part where Marcus died by the police? It's just for one night, and no one will look for us here. Um, I think so? I didn't... Yeah, I just passed the part where Marcus had to, uh... Across the street now. Let's see if the motel is an option. A motel. Looks like we found a place to stay. We 
We're not going in? We have to find $40 and get rid of this uniform or go somewhere else. We have a different Twitch streamer and you ban me from hidden. Oh, yeah, no. So what are the other options? Let's see. Walk across. Laundry mat, I guess. Yeah, let's go see what's in the laundry mat. It's warm in here. You'll feel better in no time. Hello. What are you doing? They're not our clothes. We need them, Alice. You need something warm, and I need to get rid of this uniform. But that's stealing. We can't do that. Okay, fine, kid. Fine. the haunted house. Bro, <laughs> schools, thank you so much for the follow, man. I appreciate it. Welcome. Okay, so what do I do then? I like how the books are like not really books, they're just tablets of sorts. Hello, sir. Okay, can I have some money? I didn't see a haunted house, but I saw the apartment. Yeah, there's quite literally nothing here, okay. Yeah, I saw something down on the right, so I'm going to see if I can... What is this place? Look, the store is still open. Maybe we should go inside. At least you'll be out of the cold. What do you want? Hundreds of species, most of them now extinct. I'm with a little girl, and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Shit. A homeless android? Ah, that's the best yet. Look, this is a convenience store, not the Salvation Army, okay? You better go if you're not gonna buy anything.
<laughs> Steal from the cash register? <laughs> Well, we don't want to steal. Alright, so let's go. Come on, kid. Kids never let us steal. Sleep in the abandoned car. Uh, I don't know about that idea. Let's go back to wherever that one place was. Ooh, sorry, kid, swimming in the trash can. Sorry, you're just a little trashy. Where the fuck was that place? Across the street? Right, it was over there. That way, I think, right? How the hell do I get a wire cutter? The fuck? So how do you get wire cutters? I go the door. Fuck your light. Wait, what? What door? The motel door? Oh, the car. Are you all right? Yes, it's just a scratch. Be careful. Don't worry, we're just having a look.
Alice? Alice! Wait, what are you doing? Visitors. Ralph doesn't like visitors. They're nasty. They may hurt Ralph. I don't know what the humans did to you, but she had nothing to do with it. All humans want to hurt us. But Ralph won't let them hurt him again. No, he won't let them. She's just a little girl. She's not going to hurt you. Little girl? She's not a little girl. Anyway, what does that matter? Maybe she wants to hurt Ralph. Look, I'm an android too. We have nothing to be afraid of. All we want is a place to spend the night. Visitors are dangerous. Look, what they did to Ralph. You have nothing to worry about. We're not going to do you any harm. You have my word. You must excuse Ralph. Ralph still finds it difficult to control himself. Sometimes his fear makes him do things he regrets. Ralph has seen some hard times. He's just so scared the humans will get him again. You can stay if you want. Ralph won't hurt you. Okay. We'll just stay the night. <laughs> Come on! Crazy. Ralph has lived here since he ran away. Ralph never goes outside, so no one knows he lives here. Humans come in to squat from time to time, but you know, Ralph just hides till he leaves. <laughs> come on. You can make yourself at home here. Ralph is going to go into the other room. He would like to stay with you. But he has things to do. It's just for one night, Alice. We'll find a better place tomorrow. Right. Let's see where you can sleep. Sit down and I'll start a fire. Yeah, Ralph seems nice. Seems like a friendly robot. Friendly death murdering robot. I don't want to go near Ralph. I'm not gonna lie. Perfect time to start watching for me. What's going on, Diesel? How you doing, man? Good. I've seen gameplay up to this point. Nice. Yeah, I've already lost a maybe one or maybe two characters. Eve is rip? Why is Eve rip? Why is Eve dead? I see wood everywhere, so why can't I pick any of it up?
Uh, login server. Oh, okay, gotcha. It was just fine a little while ago. Yeah, where is it in this room? Dang it. I hate when the control, like, direction moves. There's like wood all over this place. She has to pick out the one fucking thing of wood. One thing. That's it. Oh, matches were right there. So convenient. You can come to bed. I did what I could. It's not much, but at least you'll be warm. Why didn't he ever love me? Why was he always so upset with me? He's a douche. What I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Why can't we just be happy? I don't know, kid. I don't know. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. I promise. Will we be together forever? Forever. kid you've got to sleep light with her. I mean, you can't just, you know. kid man look at all the see this is this is like hands down my most annoying thing about this seeing all the options I fucking couldn't do right now like the story is amazing so far I love this part but at the same time I am really upset with that feature like that feature by far pisses me off the most This Marcus?
I imagine this is because I didn't fight for myself. Weird sounds so pretty cool, yeah. I have a feeling I was going to do that. This is a place where we can be free. Find Jellico. Find Jellico. It's all like I was talking, but not quiet, right? Yeah, it was said his audio processor was all messed up. It's not creepy at all. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to kill you. Well, he's got more energy now. 
So that's a good sign. Now I need to find an eye. Boom. Your eye, boy. Hello. I'm an AK-700 android. I was designed to serve you. What can I do for you? My program has detected an anomaly. Please contact the nearest satellite maintenance center. Calibrating. 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 I must calibrate. Found you. damage parts first, okay. Alright, alright, alright. Well, let's take his audio process, shall we? I must climb the slope now. Yeah, I climb above your dead family. Oh my god. I was like skin like heels. Is this Marcus? Yeah, that must be Marcus. Poor guy. Interesting. My name is Marcus. I'm going to kill Leo. Yeah, he looks, yeah, exactly, yeah, he looks human now. That looks crazy. Wow. 
Arcus came back from the dead. Oh. Sweet. I'm not dead. This guy is not dead. I am overfilled with joy. My Android programming can resume now. Right? I don't know. I'm like, I'm excited. I actually like this guy's stuff. Like the police investigator. <laughs> the not dead party. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, boy. What is this? I must find Amanda. Is this Amanda? One they call Amanda. Hello, Amanda. Connor, it's good to see you. Your predecessor was unfortunately destroyed. It knew deviance could be unpredictable, but it wasn't careful enough. I hope you won't make the same mistake. I don't intend to. When a Connor model is destroyed, its memory is transferred to the next one. But some data can be lost in the process. Avoid being destroyed. It would be better for you and the investigation. I understand. The interrogation seemed challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the deviancy case. What do you make of him? I would define him as dysfunctional. He obviously has a personal situation impacting his professional behavior and seems to have no interest in the investigation. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? I will adapt to his personality. It is in the best interest of the investigation that I avoid conflict and try to accommodate his psychology. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Pick up the investigation where the previous Connor left off and put a stop to this. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. Damn, son. Oh, yes, I am dead. It's just a different model. Different model. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Oh, shit. The fucking machine can kill everyone in the room.
Oh, that fucking guy. Fuck him. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you. Treating your daughter like shit. You're a jerk. You're a jerk. Desk located. You and you come with me. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. Wait for Lieutenant Anderson. Must be present for investigation purposes. Explore the new office. Hi, honey. You okay? Listen, if I can see, I told you not to call me on this number. Yes. Believe the same color. Anti Android slogans. Old donuts. Dead plant. Hello, Lieutenant. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. God, I saw you get shot in the head last night. My predecessor was unfortunately destroyed, but Cyberlife transferred its memory and sent me to replace it. This incident should not affect the investigation. Oh, Jesus. Hank! In my office! Double sound. I've got ten new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. This isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I gotta be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way! I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick! Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off! You are a police lieutenant! You are supposed to do what I say, and shut your goddamn mouth! You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that, so I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, cause it already looks like a fucking novel! This conversation is over! Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do.
I would like to start reviewing the case files. Can you tell me where I can... Talk to Hank. Close the door on your way out. Have a nice day, Captain. Garzan, what's going on, man? How you doing? Long time to see, buddy. How you been doing? The Android's online name is Plastic Prick, right? Break room. Shit. Look at that. A fucking ghost. His clone ends up in a dumpster, but this morning, what do you know? Now the son of a bitch takes his place. Hello, Detective Reed. Never seen an android like you before. My life. RK-800. I'm a prototype. A prototype? Android detective. So machine's gonna replace us all. Is that it? Hey, bring me a coffee, dipshit. Get a move on! I'm sorry, but I only take orders from Lieutenant Anderson. Oh, oh. <laughs> When a human gives you an order, you obey. Got it? Stay out of my way. Next time, you won't get off so easy. I'm not supposed to, technically, but that was just funny. I'm just like, no. <laughs> I was waiting for him to say no. I could have accepted and been like, Yes. Yes, my fucking meatbag overlords. Police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids have existed for several years now, this would be the first case of an android being authorized to play an active role in criminal investigations. We contacted CyberLife for comment, but no one was available to answer our questions. generated the plot of the novel. According to several specialists, it will be very difficult for human authors to compete with these algorithms, and the odds are that most of the books written in the coming years will be the work of artificial intelligence. Crazy. These humans seem all seem like this burn them all, right? I'm uh, I'm perfectly happy to accept my new Android overlords at this point because these people are fucking douchebags. Police control two hundred. No. Get some big actors in this though. Burn requires to describe this fatal cardiac event induced by a stressful domestic situation. Man from San Leo asks that we respect his family's privacy at this difficult time. 
and Carl Manfred rose to fame in 2020s as a figurehead of neo symbolism, powerful and dark works. All the friends. Yeah. Lived for eight years followed until a dark period marked by alcohol and drugs, but the artist had apparently returned to work in recent months. The governor of Detroit expressed her condolences for the family on behalf of the city, describing Manfred as one of Detroit's brightest lights. A collection of Manfred's paintings will be uh, auctioned by the estate in the coming weeks. Damn, son. <laughs> Ivanov says, Night! Our last world's first trillion dollar company. Oof. I understand the destruction of my predecessor may have been unpleasant for you, Lieutenant. I'll do everything I can to make sure it doesn't happen again. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hairs on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Sumo. I call him Sumo. Maybe they're trying out a new form of red ice. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? All right. I'll chase it up. That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh. Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah. Too long. Is this dog fat? I don't know. I, I would wonder. I was wondering. Do you always arrive at the office at this time? I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay? A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering, is there any reason in particular you despise me? Yeah, there is one. Well, oh, well, shit. If you have any files on Deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminal's on your desk. Knock yourself out. Gordon Lopez. Which one? So you find the name of it? Victim Charles Bill. Okay, so. Andrew's walking the fast Coney Dogs restaurant and changed the trade. Blah, blah, blah. The plaintiff claims Andrew lunged at him and unexpectedly attempted to strangle the man before leaving the scene. The Andrew remains at large. That looks like the guy from the uh, thing, right? Claims they've been attacked by Android AP 700. Blah blah blah. The Android has trashed several rooms in the house before taking flight. Yeah, it looks like Ralphie. Disappearance. Victim Floyd Mills, plaintiff manager of the Eden Club, reported the unexplained disappearance of 
Sex android. <laughs> the android disappeared after accompanying a customer to his home and never returned to the club. Attempted murder. Leo Man, victim Leo Manfred. Famous painter Carl Manfred was found in the dead home following an altercation between the android and his son. The latter's witness statement uh, attests the android behaving violently. The android was thought to be a prototype unknown model and serial number was destroyed at the scene by attending officers. Interesting. Case for aggressive aggression. Plaintiff claims that violently attacked his by his domestic android and X400 model. The android had just returned from being repaired the previous day and had shown signs of aggression in the past. Right. Right. 243 files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX-400 is reported to have assaulted a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. I understand you're facing personal issues, Lieutenant. But you need to move past them, and... Hey, don't talk to me like you know me. I'm not your friend, and I don't need your advice, okay? I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Lieutenant? Uh, sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that attacked the guy last night. It's been seen in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. Fucking guy, man. I was just like, alright, look, bro. <laughs> Let's have an understanding here. Well, I got a lot of them, somehow. Alright, I'm just gonna continue to go, just go, go through those as fast as I can now, because it's just annoying. This one's going to be kind of crazy if they find her. There's wood all over this place. I will find all of the wood. Yay, thank you.
Should we steal it? What do you guys think? Clancy Brown, yeah, no, I was like, I couldn't remember the na his name, but every there's a bunch of people I've already like seen from this. I know the kid doesn't like stealing, but you know, forget the kid. We got Brian Deckhart as Connor. Surprisingly, looks a lot like him too. Jesse Williams is Marcus. We got Clancy Brown and then uh, Lance uh, Henriksen is was Carl. And there's a bunch of other people, but. Valerie Curry is uh, Kara here. So what do you think? Don't. Not very much money anyway, so. Well, like, is she going to get the option of steal too? I'm alive. I'm alive. I was like, is the kid still here? First Android Zoo open. What? Canada still Android free zone. <laughs> you hear that, Loveless? Garzen? Still, a, still an Android free zone, unfortunately. Why don't you guys accept your Android overlords? I'm safe. <laughs> Let's go see what's going on with Ralphie. Um, there's a body in there. Not sure I like that. Hair. Huh. 
Alright, so I guess we're cutting hair. Right? That's kind of what I was thinking. I was like, rip pretty locks. Blonde, white, black. Mm, she was already blonde, wasn't she? Black. Mm, nah, let's go blonde. Let's go with what her mom had. Right? Like the kid's mom? You gonna do it blonde like the kid's mom or what? Are you white? I think blonde. White? <laughs> I don't know. The white looks a little creepy, but also looks androidish. So we're trying to stay away from androidish, right? Go blonde. Let's go blonde. We'll go blonde. So yeah, the uh, yeah, yeah, the black would probably have been the most. All right, that's all for now. Ready to go. We've got officers sweeping the neighborhood in case anybody saw anything. Okay, well let me know if they turn anything up. What are you gonna do with that? No idea. It took the first bus that came along and stayed at the end of the line. Its decision wasn't planned. It was driven by fear. Androids don't feel fear. Deviants do. They get overwhelmed by their emotions and make irrational decisions. All right, well, that still doesn't tell us where it went. It didn't have a plan, and it had nowhere to go. Maybe it didn't go far. Maybe. <laughs> Ralph found this to feed the little girl. <laughs> it's good for her. A present. To make up for Fucking Ralph, Ralph, dude. <laughs> Ralph will cook. We will do just like humans do. Humans like burnt meat. Come. Come and sit down. <laughs> uh, sure, we'll sit. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> Ralph went to a lot of trouble to find something for the little girl to eat. Wouldn't be polite for her to refuse, would it? <laughs> Great. Great. <laughs> this motherfucker. Succulent, you'll see. Succulent. Succulent. <laughs> Father, mother, little girl. Please, Car. I don't want to eat that. What did she say? She said she can't wait to eat it. She's very hungry. The little human is not going to regret it. <laughs> Ralph found the best, the biggest one he could find. <laughs> this is going to be succulent. Succulent. <laughs> Go ahead. Eat. We're going to stand up now and 
ever going to leave, Ralph. No. No, you're not going to leave. Uh-oh. Until Ralph says so. You said you wanted to be like a family, Ralph. Father, mother, the little girl, remember? A father would never threaten his little girl with a knife to make her eat. Ralph went to a lot of trouble. That's why. He just wanted the little girl to eat. But Ralph is not bad. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Then let us go. Anybody home? There's blue blood on the fence. I know another android was here. Be afraid. I'm not gonna hurt you. There's blue blood on the fence. I know another android was here. Ralph scratched himself coming through. That's Ralph's blood. I'm looking for an AX-400. Have you seen it? Ralph's seen nobody. Are there any other androids here? Other androids? No. Ralph is alone. Oh, uh, say yeah, it's Ralphie. Yeah, that's what I was wondering if, like, is it... Is anyone upstairs? No. Nobody. And 
enjoys telling the truth. Like the fucking Terminator. Like running. They're over there. I am the Terminator. I'm coming to get you. Talk about some stress levels there, oh my god. Jesus. Robot stressed, I'm stressed from that. <laughs> yeah, that's right, hip that's right. Robloxian. <laughs> Holy moly. Don't be a troll. Please, don't be a troll. I'm definitely gonna have to play this through a second time because of the choices in this game. I'd especially not like to, or like to not have Connor die either. That would be fantastic. Several sources report that CyberLife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids have existed for several years now, this would be the first case of an android being authorized to play a Night. Thank you so much for the host, man. I appreciate it. I don't, I don't like replaying games, so I'm sort of considering just looking it up on YouTube. I like replaying the ones that have choices, like, Until Dawn I played through, like, four times. If you guys haven't checked out Night Javor, definitely check him out. Another streamer on the INN stream team, super cool guy. Always a lot of fun. I think he was just playing Eve tonight, right? Or at least until the servers poop themselves. I was gonna get it, but me. Which one? Got my first PvP kill? Nice, dude. Congrats. I, I the, most of these games are good in getting them on sale, and I, I mean I got twenty five percent off, so I didn't really care. This place 
Alrighty, my boy Marcus. read every time. I wonder if you just keep going. Blend with the humans. Blend with the humans. Those so like a yellow of clues, right? Blend with the humans. Bear me, human! I have found the next graffiti. I have found the next graffiti. Just a truck in a way. Trying to find my next clue. Got a little jog down the road. Robot overlords, unite. Keep going down. if I'm going the right direction. Okay, no, I'm not going the right direction. Just a little friendly stroll down the road. You know. Yeah. I'm looking for some droids on the wall. Whoa, 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 whoa. Gotta go back. Let's go find out where we going, shall we? Alright, so I need the next graffiti. It looks like it's pineapple pins.
Aww. Where is my painting, sir? I would like to find my painting. Run around till we find it. I got my jogging legs on. Watch it, Roy. I'm trying to figure out where this is at. It's behind a fence. Know that much. That direction. Fucking move, please. Thank you. Thank you. Come again. Okay, I don't fucking know where to go now. Unless it's on that wall. Authorized personnel keep out. Looking for an authorized personnel sign. I don't know where to go, and you're human. You meat bags are in my way. Move, meat bag. Oh, oh, there it is. I found it. Just need to cross the street now. Just kind of waiting for the you know light to let me go. There we go. Right next to it too. Jesus. Obstructed. Alrighty then. That was quick. Find a way to the rooftop. Do a little exploratory work. Gotta figure out how to get there. Oh, whoa. Fuck happened to you, buddy. Look a little uh, pale there these days, huh? How do you feel about that? Hit 
him being all crazy. I found the one I'm looking for. Oh, Hannah, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. Now, I'm trying to figure out what the third symbol is, because I found two. That's something silly where it's like somewhat hidden, is it? Or is it actually like hidden somewhere over here? the stipulation we're in, yes? I do not know where to go at this point. Not letting me get down, down here. It says there's a third symbol here, but I'm not... Oh, there it is. Duh. It's kind of hidden. It's that way. Crazy shit. So good, it's so nimble. Alrighty then. Three symbols. <laughs> right, proper ninja. Totally a proper ninja at this point. Keep going, boy. You can do it. And you like you sit there and pre-calculate your parkour. Like a badass. Oh my Look at Marcus being an awesome guy. Look at this awesome guy. Yeah, I like yeah, I like you can do it different ways. It's pretty sweet. Broken wall. Nope, not in this one. Do, 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 do. Oh, hey, whoa. Just 
mirror beam that's painted. Okay, another beam painted near here. Or maybe it is the beam. Am I meeting my new robot overlord? How does one reach his new robot overlords if they cannot be reached? More parkour. Hell yeah. of faith. I need to bed, but I want to keep watching. I know I'm almost done though. As soon as I end this section, I'm gonna be going to bed myself. So I'm trying to just finish this portion or where I'm at now, and then I'm going to bed. So it should be however long it takes me to finish this portion, which I imagine we're almost done. Marcus, Marcus, Marcus. You can't do that with just my hand, buddy.
Camden with Miles once spoiled nature kind of true land of the free. <laughs> President Warren to make visit the United Kingdom. President's trying to serve in Canada where witness a thrilling chase day after a police manhunt including roadblocks and dozens of police interviews flushed out a felony fugitive. But this fugitive will with a difference, the suspect is an android. The rogue AX400 model is thought to be suffering from extremely rare malfunction and took extreme measures to avoid police even dashing across a busy highway to pursuing officers. Interesting. Eyewitnesses' statements are inconclusive with the no official report and possible say for what really happened, but the local news correspondents are looking into the case at this very moment. No cyberlife spokesperson was available for comment. Kind of cool, they like give you little bits and pieces. Is there anything at this door? No. Alright, let's keep on. Left. Not so much, I guess. Well, you know, that's scary and all if I hadn't heard you rummaging around in the first place. Alright, let's just go the other way. Or not. Hello? Kill you. I guess this is where I gotta go. You know, if you could quit running around like a freaking banshee, it'd be nice. Kind of annoying. Ow. I just repaired myself, damn it. Jericho. All right. Well, we made it to Jericho. That's that was our plan for this fine evening. So, alrighty, guys and gals, we're going to continue off where we left off from here tomorrow evening. So, we're going to be continue playing here. Um, so it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to the story because it's so far it's really cool. The only part I don't really care for is this one. But although it looks like we did just about everything aside of read the story. Literally. Read on the run. I didn't read the other two th pages in there. Ah, oh, Jesus. That's all it was? Oh, and something up there. Crossing the gap. So we gotta gotta mess with this next time, but um, yeah, tomorrow we're gonna be back with this, playing some more Detroit Become Human. So far, I'm really intrigued with the story. I like it. The only thing I don't like so far in this game, out of all of it, is just this part. This is the only part that's irritating to me. It's cool. It's nice to know, but I want them to give this to you at the end, not give it to you after every goddamn chapter. Like it's the only problem I have with it so far, and that's the and it, the only real complaint I have about this game. Like this was not in other games. Uh, I like this, so that's the only thing. Is, it uh, it kind of kills the pacing for you. Instead of just continuing on and letting you keep going, like you always got to find out where you failed, and it's just like, okay, I would like not to fail this. <laughs> but anyway, hope everybody has a great night. Thank you all so much for joining us, and we'll see you all next time.
Bye. 